Hey booktube and author tube, it's Brecky from Brecky Writes and this is my Camp Nanorimo and Magical Readathon week two vlog. I look a hot mess, hot ass mess because it's been a day. I haven't done any reading or any writing that wasn't work related today so I am behind on my um, 30 minutes a day kind of goal for Camp Nano. I'm not really worried about it because I was already where I needed to be. Um, I was on like three hours, three or four hours. I think I had three and a half. So I need 30 more minutes to get to four hours and today is April 8th. So I feel okay with that. I can catch up. That's not a big deal. But um, didn't get any of that kind of work done because I have had very busy days at the at my job and have to go into the office tomorrow actually, um, which I'm not thrilled about. But, you know. When they tell you to bring in the cavalry, you charge or whatever. I don't know. I don't know anything about the military. But, uh, yeah, I didn't get any reading or writing done. Also, my basement flooded, and we have six inches of standing water, and that's gross. And praise the good Lord for essential workers and for the sewage guys and the plumbers who are coming and making it work. We have a sub pump pumping out the icky water right now, and they're coming and building in a new line or putting in a new line tomorrow afternoon. So... That's been an adventure and uh, not a fun one. Not a fun one. I'm glad I'm a renter because I don't have to pay for this. Uh, and so um, I look, I look, um, I look extra special. And uh, the babies are sleeping. I have one. Well, she's not really sleeping. She's really grouchy because she's teething. And then her twin sister is asleep right in front of me on the bed. So. Today has been kind of a wash as far as being productive uh, for either of my kind of April goals. So no writing, no reading. I am thinking of jumping from um, blood print into something a little bit lighter and more fun and a little bit more grabby and readable. So I think I might jump into Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Um, that is another one that Sam from Thoughts on Tomes really, really, really loved and a lot of people really enjoyed and seems lighter and fluffier and frankly with the world the way it is and the news the way it is, light and fluffy, light and fluffy is where it's at for me. So we will see. I will catch up with you guys probably tomorrow and hopefully I can actually report that I did something and that would be good. Okay. Talk to you soon. Good morning. It is Thursday, April 9th, I believe. 2020, I'm the year of our Lord, and I have just gotten up. It's um, a little after eight, and my house is quiet, and I think I'm gonna try to get some reading or writing done. I can only do one at a time. Um, I actually think I might do a little bit of an audiobook where I clean up my kitchen. Um, as you can see, I'm I'm sporting my excellent um, like mom robe. I have graduated into like a legit mom robe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my second oldest son is awake and reading. He is absolutely loving the um, Aragon books. He's in Brissinger now, and so he is just voraciously reading through those. My oldest is still snoozing, and then my husband is watching the little babies. They're back in bed, but... Um, so my plan for the morning is to either pop on an audiobook and clean the kitchen or pop on some music and try to do a little bit of uh, outlining and character development for the novel. So I'm gonna do one of the two of those. I will check in with you guys hopefully this afternoon. I have a very, very busy work day ahead of me. So I wanna get a little bit of stuff done this morning um, and that way I can feel like I've been productive because I don't know how much productivity I will have um, by the afternoon. So. You can tell I haven't had my cup of coffee yet. So I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so I've started The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren and I am loving it. I'm like four chapters in and so far, I love me some enemies to lovers. And now I'm sort of rethinking that maybe my second chance summer romance should actually be an enemies to lovers romance. I'm just, mm, I'm thinking, I've got, to, I've got to meditate on it, but loving it. And it mostly takes place at Maui, which is an island surrounded by coastline and water, so I can count it towards my Defense Against the Dark Arts. I'm super excited. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, stupidly enjoying it. So, yeah, I'll have to keep you guys posted and tell you how it goes. All right, so, hey, YouTube. It is Becky from Becky Writes, and it is Saturday, the 11th of April. Where does the time go? Well, my basement flooded, and... 
I had to flee my house because my basement flooded. So we had to relocate and we're staying at my in-laws place in North Carolina. They're not here. So we're doing our social distancing uh, duties and, and we're not interacting, but uh, we had to pack up all of the family, including the kids and drive six hours to North Carolina. So I'm behind. I'm a full hour behind um, my writing goals as far as time because I didn't do any writing the last two days. I'm a little bit behind on my reading goals because I've been bouncing around too much between different things. We started an audiobook in the car, reading Lord of the Rings together as a family, and I haven't had the energy to pick up um, The Blue Sword, and I only brought one of my poetry books with me, and it's just been not what I expected for the week. Um, I'm thinking of doing the stay-at-home reading rush a thon or whatever that they're doing this weekend but I'm just not sure um my second oldest has a birthday this like in a week like a week from now we're gonna be in North Carolina this whole week so when this goes up on Tuesday or Wednesday we'll still be in North Carolina and we'll be going back until Friday or Saturday so it's just really challenging to upend your life and your schedule and your stuff and try to make any of your plans work um yeah so I'm tired and I'm behind but I don't feel bad about it I'm just kind of like everything just keeps it's like we finally get into a pattern and then everything explodes you know we finally had a whole pattern for life at home and now we can't be at home so I'll check in with you guys later hey booktube and authortube it's Becky from Becky Writes and it is now Monday the 13th of April and I have a sleeping boo-boo both of them right there um I did not film I don't think yesterday yesterday was Easter we are in North Carolina we had to leave our house because our basement flooded um I am behind on everything I just want to give you a quick update I haven't written in anything today or yesterday I haven't really done any reading today or yesterday so far it's about one o'clock on Monday um so I'm behind but you know what my basement flooded I'm just going to have to be behind. Um, but I wanted to give you an update about that. I am a third of the way through the Unhoneymooners and I'm really enjoying it, but I'm listening to it as an audiobook, and I just haven't had an occasion to listen to it since we have had to travel. Um, so I'm hoping to find my headphones and put those in and listen while I am doing some tidying up later tonight. But yeah, um, I haven't really made any progress in any of my other books. I didn't bring any of my poetry books with me. Maybe I brought one, but that's it, and uh, I haven't been reading, writing, nothing. So we'll see what I have to say tomorrow when the week is over. I am not optimistic that much will have been accomplished, but you do what you can do with what you have. Check in later. Hey, BookTube, it's Becky from Becky Writes, and it's actually Thursday the 16th, I think, of April, and I didn't update Tuesday or Wednesday because it has been quite a busy couple of days. Um, I'm behind in my reading and writing. Are, is anybody surprised? Nobody's surprised. Um, I have been working from my relocation. We are having to relocate for longer than we expected. The lines go under a state road and so the state has to get a contractor in to dig up their road to replace the lines that they screwed up through some other road maintenance so the house is not going to be ready for us to safely inhabit until monday tuesday wednesday of next week so we don't know and no one's telling us anything and we can't check in as easily because we're in a different state so um it's really stressful and um, we're dealing with that we're dealing with some other issues and of course my work is really ramping up um because i work at a college and we're heading towards exams and so we have a lot of very panicking students and you know a lot of seniors that are really bummed about missing their graduation and things like that so i have been um really overwhelmed and i'm like I have four completed hours of writing done this month so far and I want to get to 15 and I think I should be at seven hours if I want to be on schedule. So I'm three full hours behind, which is theoretically something I can make up pretty easily if I have the time and the energy. My girls aren't sleeping through the night right now, they're teething and so at least one of them is waking up and so I'm not getting up at seven every morning like I was and having that quiet time. So I just don't know. Um, 
but I'm doing the best that I can. And I think that's kind of, for me, the whole point of camp was to have something to motivate me to do the best that I can and to not put it off, but to make progress. So um, I'm hopeful that this coming week might be a little bit better, um, but with not being at home, it just makes it harder. So I might focus on my reading. I'm almost done with the blue sword. And I, like I said, I'm, I've stuck it about one third of the way through the Unhoneymooners. So if I can get one or both of those finished in this coming week, I'll feel really, really good. And um, we'll be pretty, pretty um, set, pretty, pretty good for the readathon. I think if I can get one poetry book done and have those two, I might be able to fulfill my reading um, goal. And then the two poetry books are super, super short. So I can go home and read a poetry book in the afternoon and it would be fine. So I can still fulfill the magical readathon and... As long as I keep plugging away and, and really working towards my goal in NaNoWriMo, I will be pleased. I will be okay with that. All right, well, I'm signing off for this vlog, and you will see me in another vlog soon.